students this is the first program i am going to create in visual studio 2019 and that is the java program in visual studio 2019 in order to create a first project for example i am going to place the name of hello world this is the first program of hello world i am going to introduce this java program in asp.net so by writing this hello world for creating this project click on create a new project you have to select here the asp.net core web application because it's a suite of all c sharp and html and css and javascript and uh, it's the best for the web application so just go and select it here you have to select your project name that is the hello world click on create button here you have to select the web application a project template for creating creating an asp.net core application with an example of asp.net core resource pages content so you have to go on this selection on the web application press the create button and wait for a short while it is going to be created your project the preceding code looks like a lot of like a resource view files used in our asp.net core app apps with controllers and views so this is the complete introduction of asp so just move here on web folder page pages folder and uh, select this index.ch html document this is the cs c sharp html document you have to select this document so you don't uh, have to select these text so i am going to cut it from my document because uh, i am going to create a first sample program of hello world especially for you in order to introduce the java program so till here you don't have to need these all text okay so i have deleted so let's have the understanding that what is the mean of add page this add page and till here this is the directive basically it makes the files into a mvc action which means that it handles request directly without going through a controller add page must be the first resource directive on a page add page affects the behavior of other resource con constructors resource pages files names have a ch cs html suffix this div now uh, this is the view data means that you have to view your uh, with the title and the home page will appear here this div text defines a division a section in an html document it is used a container for html element which is then styled with css or manipulated with javascript the div tag is easily styled by using the class or id attribute any sort of the content content can be put inside the div tag the div tag supports global attributes and event attributes in html document this div class the first line of this program here the class is an attributes all elements can easily carry attributes a class can be used to identify more than one html this line shows that the text will appear in a center we use it to align the text in a center that is called the bootstrapping the next line we use to display the hello world in display for heading h1 defines 
the most important heading it's an html element that's usually used to identify the title of an article documentation for both step typography including global settings heading body text list and more bootstrap sets basic global display typography and link style when more control is needed here the display for defines a larger slightly more opinionated heading style so hello world will be shown like this and this is the closing tag of div command div tag so let's have the output of our first program of java by pressing the control f5 and let's build this program so see that what happens because it's a first program in web application and we have created so students let's have the output and we have created the first web application program that is the hello world it was the target of our program for for my next video in order to enhance your javascript program keep watching my lesson videos and like and subscribe my channel thank you